Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick example of how I assemble the Type-C4 Whitlong 3x3. Um, before I get started, I'm going to show you guys uh, some things that I do not like about this cube already. Based, just based off of its uh, the way the pieces are designed. So, uh, uh, the center pieces, they're well-rounded, well-rounded underneath. And it's got these uh, discs here that hold down... To hold the anchors in place, which is very interesting. I would say this most resembles the V cube three pattern drawings, if you know where to find the V cube three pattern. So this best resembles that. View home, eh, not really, but but yeah, that's kind of what it resembles. It's kind of like those pieces right there. And the next thing, now this is a very bumpy cube. Um, it's not going to be as smooth as the other Dion three by threes. The reason is you got these uh, loose fitting corners here. And it's got these bumps right here. Now, if it actually had cut ridges in there to where they meet, it actually has some uh, wobble room to where the pieces won't... I don't know if, I, if you can kind of hear that. It kind of catches over there, which happens. Um, another thing is the curvature of this around the center. It's curved by outside for the appearance, but the inside, it's not as curved as, let's say, a guhong would be. And that's partially where it fails. Um... Also, this uh, right here, this little uh, this little lip that overhangs, it will actually go over the caps if you reverse corner cut it, which may lead to uh, sticker chipping, which is probably not so good, which is just like the, the V-Cube 2 would do. I've heard about that. Um, okay, well, let's just get on to assembly. Now, I've only put together five of these on here. Also, don't forget to lube the core with Lubix or, or whatever, or silicone. So I've saved one of these. Um, I'm going to put the pieces in. So I'm going to kind of turn them at 45 with the discs, and then I'm going to rotate it down. It should be pretty easy. Let's get the next one. Now the tension, I forgot to mention, is really tight. It has very little uh, bounce room or spring room, and you'll see why eventually. Put the pieces in, turn 45, side the next corner or edge in. This is very difficult to assemble if you don't know how to do it right. I don't see a whole lot of people meeting their uh, best averages with this cube. It doesn't meet its fullest potential quite yet. I think it's an unfinished product. They can do better. I'm sure there's going to be some mods for this, but I'm probably not going to get into it. I don't have time. Get both corners in. Turn it 45. Slide that in. 45 the other way. Slides right in. Okay, now I'm going to do the final lubing around the, uh, the the center areas, or the circular areas. I'm going to go just below the discs. Probably just on three sides. I don't think it needs a whole lot of lube. Probably go on top of the disc there. Go underneath to where pieces actually need each other. The corners. No, just a little bit on the surfaces. Yeah, that should be sufficient enough. Not bad, I guess. Okay, next part is the difficult part. I'm going to move that aside for right now. You're going to need to save this disc for the centerpiece. You're going to get your pieces, put them together like that, get the edges. Let's get the uh, corner, put it in there. Let that pieces fall apart, hopefully. Okay. Success. No, yes, no. Okay. The reason why I haven't had videos lately, in the past month or two, is because my MacBook died, and a few other things died. My website died, so I had to totally change it. I had the VCube claim go through. Ah, oh, dang it! Get in there. 
Okay, got that one. And this one, I put in there. I'm gonna put the corners there. Okay, so it looks like that. It's kind of a cool view of what it looks like underneath the disc, how the anchors hold in there. Um, I'm gonna carefully pick this up, make sure it's together. Get the other part of the cube, put it over it. Now, you might have to do this a couple times. You might have to, I hope not. Kind of turn it 45 again. So, we can get underneath the pieces. Just be patient, take time. Oh, crap, I lost a piece. It rolled underneath my desk. Okay, so I got that. Hold on, let me get my center piece. Uh, where'd you go? Oh, it's on my leg. Okay, so you already got the disc down in there. Now you just want to place it in there. It's got it in there. Got my handy electric screwdriver. It's like 20 bucks at Walmart. It's really good. It goes fairly tight. So it's really tight right now. Um, so yeah, that was basically it for putting that last piece on. I'm going to loosen it just a little bit on each side. One, two, three. and six. Not a whole lot of them. Tension is very tricky on this one. Okay, that's probably about where it should be. I've assembled quite a lot of these already. Now, if you look at this from the camera view, you can see how the screw heads pop up quite a bit. Now, on these caps, there's not a whole lot of room for the tension to get any more loose than it is. So, it might be pushing up on them. That means you have to tighten a little more giving you less room for tension. So, that one went on nicely. Let me do the rest now. <laughs> oh, don't go underneath the keyboard. Okay, this one's not tight enough. As you can see, it's kind of popping up. Very annoying. Let me tighten it. Yeah, that's good enough. Get the next pieces. Okay, that one's not tight enough. Oh, so annoying. This one looks good. Okay. So the key is to take your time assembling this cube, otherwise if you're trying to force things in, you might just bend the plastic, break the plastic, and then you're, you don't have a cube. So, kind of work in the cube a little bit. As you can kind of feel or hear, it has that clicking with the uh, corner pieces. Now let's see the corner cutting. Not too impressive. This is 45. It doesn't go very well because it has a tighter tension. Um, a lot of cubes really vary a lot, but, uh, this one, it doesn't have smooth corner cutting. You have to really force it. It doesn't have a very good ease. Now, you see if you go that reverse, it kind of overlaps right there. That's not something you want, because you'll scratch those stickers. And, I've, I have my personal one somewhere. I've tried breaking it in a little bit. It does get better, not a whole lot. Personally, I think you just better off getting a Guhong too. Um, this one, it'd be good for collections, and it obviously feels exactly like a Wit 2 2x2, two two, and pretty much has the same design, basically. But it's not fitting to be a world record cube, I don't think. so. But you can still buy it on my online store, puzzleaddictions.com. You'll probably see a link pop up or down below, whatever. So, yeah, there we go. Kept it under 10 minutes and I showed you how to assemble it. Thank you for watching.